see, let yourself at home. I first came across hedgehogs really as a little girl. My nanny used to take me on these nature walks and she'd always, well, she made them into mythical creatures really. We was always, look for the hedgehogs, look for the hedgehogs. So I've always had a fascination just from being a little girl. I think they're so cute, they remind me of the Wombles. About 15 years I've been on the lookout for them, looking out for injured hedgehogs. Um, obviously if we see them out during the day, my first hedgehog was actually tiny and I picked it up and put it in a hessian sack and brought it home. Um, my, my friend and colleague Wendy, uh, she came round and helped me weigh him and he was severely underweight, really dehydrated, bless him. So we fed him up, we fattened him up. And he liked his food that much that he didn't hibernate that winter. He just stayed awake all winter, eating and eating and eating. The dangers that they face is like the fox, it's urbanisation. Um, obviously there are hedgerows, um, the, more, the towns are getting bigger, they can't get into the gardens, people don't even realise when they're tidying up the gardens, they could be disturbing a hedgehog nest because they use leaves, they use twigs, they use sticks. And you know, they're asleep. And the worst time of year for hedgehogs is bonfire night because they will crawl into a bonfire and hibernate. And then unfortunately, people are so unaware that they set fire to the bonfires. So that, yeah, they really are struggling and they need our help. And if we don't all start educating ourselves and our children, 20 years they'll be gone. So we're just driving to Wendy's house. She looks after hedgehogs on a much larger scale than me and can have up to 20 hibernating at a time. She worms them, she defleas them and detits them all herself. Wendy's always successful at bringing hedgehogs back into the wild. How did you find out about the hedgehogs being in danger? Um, I've been looking after hedgehogs for um, quite a few years now, feeding the ones that are in the garden. And because I was feeding the ones that visit in the garden, um, I looked into you know, the hedgehog population and why we're getting hedgehogs in the garden. Um, and I realised that hedgehogs were on decline. Very few hedgehogs that I've brought in out of the 300 hedgehogs I've actually cared for, I've only ever had about half a dozen with fleas. The hedgehog fleas are um, indigenous to the hedgehog, they can only live on the hedgehog. Once they um, once they come off the hedgehog, they can't live in your carpets or on your dogs. Hedgehog fleas will die, they can only live on the hedgehog. But people have this awful um, stigma about hedgehogs and fleas and diseases, um, and the fleas are, are not a problem. When you find the poorly hedgehogs, what's common that's making them poorly? Um, hedgehogs do tend to get, to, um, one of the things that most common that hedgehogs get is lungworm. And they get lungworm from eating, from eating slugs and snails. I mean, everybody says hedgehogs eat your slugs and snails. They do, but as a last resort, because like dogs, if they eat a slug, they can give them lungworm. And they can pass the lungworm on to the babies when they, when they carry them. Um, and if you take them to the vets, the vets will just give them a course of lung worm treatment and it's quite easy to, to cure. Do you want to come outside and see the feeding stations? They're so cute. <laughs> so this is um, one of my feeding stations. It's quite simple. Um, I just keep some double trays that I put the food into. As I say, these are just a, a chicken flavoured um, cat food, um, always make sure there's some fresh water in a little tub for them. 
and the head dogs can get in either end. So if one comes in um, and another one comes in, one can make a quick escape. And if you want to come in here, I'll show you where my head dogs are sleeping at the moment. So who do we have in here, Wendy? So in here, we have Mary, who came in just before Christmas. Did so, we babysit for Mary? Yes. Yes, we did, didn't we? So there's his little bowl of food and his water and he's tucked up, fast asleep, hibernating in there at the moment. And how long has he been asleep? When and he's been asleep since just after New Year. So anytime soon he'll be waking up and we'll be getting him out and letting him back into the wild. They don't come out during the night. When the, even when they're hibernated, hedgehogs will come out and take some food and water. Um, they come out in an half um, sleepy, stagger around. Um, a hedgehog's heart rate can go down to four beats a minute when they're in hibernation, um, which preserves all their energy. Um, you can look up the website Hog Helpers, who will give you lots of information and um, lots of advice on how to look after hedgehogs and feed hedgehogs and keep them populated.